I was really bad until the end of seventh grade, and then I started to get a little better and I could actually hit the ball. That was certainly a safer, gentler time for volleyball in the state of Iowa before Michaela Fecky figured out how to turn a leather sphere into a potentially limb-wrecking projectile of danger. Though to look at the Holy Trinity Junior now is to wonder how there was ever a time she wasn't this dominant. Probably the summer of my seventh grade year going into eighth grade, it just became the thing I wanted to do and do it all the time and I just loved playing it. And then we just got more and more into it and now we spend the entire year doing it and it's just so great. That price paid in past practice hours netted Michaela Fecky a year that rivals any enjoyed by any prep athlete in tri-state history. It started with a Division I scholarship pledge in May to Nebraska, before Michaela had even taken her first junior year class. But there was an even more prestigious testament to Michaela's talent still in the summer offing. Come July, Michaela successfully tried out for and made the U.S. under-18 national squad certifying herself as one of the 12 best players in the entire country and earning a once in a lifetime trip to challenge the world's greatest players in Thailand. Yeah, it was a great chance to go and explore the world. I mean, we had gone with the school to Rome before and I knew a little bit about world traveling, but nothing like that. And it was just so great and it was a great exploration. It's um, truly a different competition when you get out that far. I mean, it's a different ball, a different game and um, you just have to go out and play, but um, it's a great accomplishment knowing that you can um, look out back on it and see that you can actually still make an impact at such a high level. And Michaela's impact, even at that elite level, was undeniable. She was among the tournament's leaders in hits, and she and her teammates came away with one amazing keepsake. It was a great experience, and I um, couldn't have asked for a better experience or a better chance to win a silver medal for the country just shows your true pride. It also proved to be quite the springboard into her high school campaign, one that saw Michaela ultimately lead the state of Iowa in kills with 760 and become a true team leader for her powerhouse program at such a young age. And it's telling that Miss Fecky's Crusader teammates take such pride in her accomplishments. They're more excited usually than I am and that's so nice. I mean, it just shows the true friendship that we have on and off the court. And when it was said and done, the Lady Crusaders had much to celebrate. A second place state finish, Michaela's nod as captain of the state volleyball all-tournament team, and two Iowa Player of the Year nods, including a prestigious one from Gatorade, recognizing both her skills on the court and her stellar 3.96 GPA in the classroom. That's incredibly heady stuff, but it hasn't quelled Miss Fecky's appetite for even greater excellence. In the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you accomplished, it's what you're going to do and how you're going to get better to help the team and help everyone else around you. Did you ever pinch yourself a little bit, just a girl from a small town, Fort Madison, kind of making this, this giant splash? Um, no, I think it just, it's all come in little steps and you know, you have to work really hard to get there and everything comes with working and it's just happened to be my luck. <laughs>